Hello guys, Bingo Cat here, and I am continuing my series of trying to show off legacy operating systems in 2016 just to see if you guys can use them or not. And so today I bring you the infamous Windows Me. So first of all, for those of you who don't know anything about Windows Me, Windows Me supposedly is the worst operating system ever made by Microsoft. Even worse than Windows Vista and Windows 8. Why is that? Well, when Windows Me was released, it was criticized for being unstable, really buggy, and slow. But it also introduced um, noticeable features within the operating system like System Restore, Windows Movie Maker, etc. So I have Windows Me emulated here in VMware, so let's go ahead and turn it on. So Windows Me was released in the exact same year as Windows 2000 was. And it was called Windows Me or Millennium Edition because Millennium means the start of a new 1,000 years, for those of you who didn't know. And since Windows 2000's name was already taken by their operating system Windows 2000, for Windows Me, they settled with Windows Me or Millennium Edition. Now, Millennium Edition was built upon the 95 and 98 line of operating systems. Let's go ahead and log in here. As you can see, fast boot up, but once again, it's in VMware. And since Windows Me was built along the same kind of code base that Windows 95 and Windows 98 was built off of, which was built off of Microsoft DOS. Um, unlike Windows 2000, Windows Me could actually run a ton of legacy programs from the Microsoft DOS days. I mean, unlike Windows 2000, Windows Me could actually run a ton of programs from the legacy Microsoft DOS days. As you can see, like in Windows 2000, this uses the exact same interface that Windows 2000 uses, and for the most part, it runs really similarly to how Windows 2000 runs, but Windows Me was designed for home users, Windows 2000 was designed for businesses. Windows Me, unlike Windows 2000, which support ended in 2010, Windows Me was support was ended in July 2006, on the same date that Windows 98 support was ended. Um, so yeah, as far as Internet Explorer those, this also goes up to Internet Explorer 6. Um, as far as built-in programs go, it has the regular notepad, paint. Let's check out the old movie maker though. I don't have any movies to demonstrate for you guys, but this is version 1, released in the year 2000. The last version, as far as I'm aware of, was released in 2012 and still widely used today. Um, I'm kind of a little disappointed in Microsoft because it looks like they're probably going to discontinue Movie Maker in the near future at the way Windows 10 is going, but um, yeah, Movie Maker has been great for its time. Even version 1 looked pretty darn great. So File Explorer looks the exact same as it does in Windows 98, so I won't show you guys much there. Um, once again, it comes with, let's see, let's use Opera as the default web browser. This is the latest supported browser that I know of that can run in Windows Me. I think this was the version that was released in 2010. Yep, 2010 right here. So yeah, if you run Let's try, unlike Windows 2000, I think this might actually load a modern website. But you know, in Windows 2000, I was trying to load in Internet Explorer, and nothing loaded. Oh, what do you know, something actually loads in Windows Me. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm, can't get to Google here either. Darn it. Well. Anyways, let's see what other programs are included. It says MS-DOS prompt compared to command prompt. So you can do MS-DOS programs. Dial up networking. This also comes with games like pinball. Um, documents. Let's check out the control panel. Yeah, this virtually looks pretty similar to Windows 98. In my Windows 2000 video, I didn't really go over the control panel, but I assume it's the exact same for the most part, except maybe some more options for business users. Then there's a search on the internet, help, run. 
So yeah, if you go into here, can't really see any backgrounds anymore. But this has more screensavers than Windows 2000 did because once again, I guess it's because it's a consumer-based operating system. Now this was my favorite screensaver in any version of Windows ever. This was introduced, I think, in Windows 95, and they depreciated it and, or excuse me, deprecated it in Windows XP. But this is the best. If you guys have never seen this screensaver, which is pretty much probably anyone under the age of 13, um, this screensaver is awesome. Too bad there's not really a starter end to the maze though. But I, I would just sit here for hours and be like, oh, come on, go this way. Anyways, enough of that. So yeah, this is basically Windows 2... I keep wanting to call this Windows 2000. This is basically Windows Me. Um, so the question is, Windows Me usable in 2016? The answer is, once again, unless you have legacy applications, that is a big N-O. Windows Me support was pretty much dropped around the same time Windows 98 support was dropped, which among most, uh, which was in 2006, so there's basically no point to running Windows Me. And it's definitely not usable as it does not get any Windows updates and cannot view any modern websites. So yeah, let's go ahead and shut this down. There's these nice little bars here, and it says it's now safe to turn off your computer and then just turns off immediately afterwards. Anyways, that was Windows Me, aka Millennium Edition. Like and subscribe, and hope to see you guys next time. Bye.